I've had a lot of cases where I'm working in uh, uh, big teams and you need to be able to distribute information. And a lot of the people I work with are not tech people, right? They're not programmers. They haven't been around computers, um, especially if, you know, sometimes the older generation, sometimes they have a, a bit of trouble with uh, using computers. And so you want to give them the best experience and access to information because that's really what Tableau is about. It's about making information accessible. And instead of having all these crazy filters and um clicks and all that kind of stuff one of the things I actually found was really helpful for people was building a search engine right so let me show you an example so I built one here you can see is not very much on it but I'll show you how to kind of jazz it up Google style uh, a little bit later so let me show you something if I go Milan right you can see it just comes up right and I think I can do partial as well yeah you can do partial matching like wildcard let's try um, Rome Let's check out Rome. All right, so you can see the search engine works really well. And obviously, you can do this for any type of data, right, at the bottom. I've had ones where I've had like 20 different things. So then someone just types in a name or a person or a code or whatever, and anything that they need to know is right there in front of them. So it's really quick. It's kind of inspired by Google. So let me show you how I kind of built it. So let's delete all this and let's start from scratch. Uh, let's do a fresh uh, sheet. And I'm really, I'm just using um, the Superstore data, right? So pretty standard data, everyone has access to it. Um, it's on the main screen, so let me just show you. Right, so it's just this one down here, all right? Okay, what I'm gonna do is just an example, we're just gonna build four dashboards and I'm gonna build, <coughs> A few different ones. So let's say I'm going to do manufacturer, let's do sales, right? And the one I've been having fun with lately is just the packed bubble, right? So that's a little fun one there. Let's put some of sales in the color and let's put manufacturer in the labels, right? Okay, so it's not going to turn up just because there's so many of them. So let's just make it unselected, right? That's uh, probably still too tight. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll do another one. Let's just say I'm doing by region. Uh, maybe we'll do a hierarchy, maybe some segments. And we'll do quantity in there. Maybe we'll do like a, something like that. All right, totals. This part doesn't really matter. Like it's, it's just kind of for our example. And we'll do one more. Let's just say I want um, ship mode, right? And we'll do maybe a date something like that and we'll do what's a different one maybe we'll do units estimate right again maybe we'll make it a heat map I'll cheat in this one okay all right so we've got three different data sets here and the idea oh we haven't got a map we'll do a map let's just say city uh, state and I'll do an easy sales color okay very easy all right so I've got some dashboards here Awesome sheets. So now let's build our dashboard. So pretty standard stuff. Just gonna double click these, chuck them in. So I'm going pretty fast on this part just because I mean this is all kind of standard theory, standard application. And I'm just gonna pretty it up because I'm OCD that way. Anyone who's taken my course will know. Alright. And uh we'll leave the titles in, but I'll show you why you'd want to get rid of that. Alright, so let's say you've got your dot like this. The first step is actually putting like a blank part at the top, right? And you can use this blank tool. Now, if you can't see it, and this is what you can see, most likely you're in the layout menu. So just be sure to go here. And let's go bring one of those into the very top. Obviously, it doesn't have to be in the top, but this is kind of how I like to do it. And kind of to make this a little bit prettier, we'll do it this way, right? Okay, so the next thing is you have to choose what you want to filter on, right? In our case, let's pick um, city. That's kind of a good example. And you want to pick any of these. It doesn't really matter. Let's go back into the sheet. And we're going to introduce that as a filter. All right. So drop sheet into filter. Like so. All right. And we're just going to use everything. Okay. Because the filtering is going to happen at the, at the dashboard end. So go OK. So now it's in there. But it's only on this sheet. So we want the filter to apply to everything. So we're going to go analysis. Filters city right once you have this we're going to transform this from a 
uh, multiple value lists to a wildcard match. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to make this a floating one. Where's float? Floating. All right, so that we can place it here nice and pretty. Okay, now the thing is, this still only applies to one, so we have to go apply to worksheets, selected worksheets, and we want it on all of them. Okay, okay, so then now when we filter, it filters on everything. So if I type in London, there we go, it filters. So, I mean, this is so simple, everyone is used to Google. The only thing I'm annoyed about is that. One of the other reasons I I build this thing is because the amount of data that the people were looking into that my team needed to know was so large, it was in the millions and millions, um, it was hard for them to get into. But then I had another problem, which was performance. Because if this filter is open, meaning there's nothing in there, it's displaying millions of records in here, right? So it was very, um, you know, memory heavy, very computer heavy to run. Yeah. So the way to minimize that is to not display anything until they type something. So the way you do it is if you go in here and go to this setting, include all values when empty. So you untick this and it basically makes everything invisible. Now, getting back to the point of headings, that's why I don't show them, right? Because then it kind of looks ugly. It's just randomly, random headings there. The other thing is it's like an element of surprise. So let's say we get rid of this and someone's seeing this for the first time right all they see is this thing right uh, maybe you can just change this to go which city all right maybe make this a 12 Oops. all right now that's all they see and you're, they're like what is this thing all right and then when they go well paris and then all their data is like right there in front of them they're like whoa that was cool right so that's the other thing. It's like it's got some sex appeal to it. <clears throat> now, one last touch that we're going to do um, as a joke, you can actually put like a Google banner up here. So let me show you how to do it. Now, I'm not an artist by any means. So what you can do is if you open up Microsoft Paint, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Google logo, right? So just screenshot this thing. I use Snagit, but you can use print screen. I mean, it's all the same or snipping tool, right? And what I do is I bring it in here as the first stage. And then I'm just gonna come in and type in something, right? So let's say your name is uh, Patrick, right? So let's say your name is Patrick. You can do something like Patrugal, okay? Something like that, and that's a joke I've done in the past, okay? And what we do is we make this a little bit larger until it kind of matches the other one. Let's say 72, okay? And then what I would do is, using this paint bucket and this syringe, I think it's a syringe, right? What it does is it actually grabs the color from here as the exact red, green, blue mixture of each of these colors, so I can click here on color picker, make sure you had that one selected first, yeah? And you go blue, blue, red, red, orange, and so on, okay? And again, this is just for fun, just so that life isn't so serious. I just noticed they changed the E. Is that always been like that? I don't think so. Okay, blue, let's go red, and finally, orange. Okay, and once you got that, we're going to go like this, crop, all right, which is this one right here, and crop. All right, and then we're just going to save this. So just save and downloads, yes. Uh, let's get rid of that. And then in here, we're going to introduce a picture. So... You see that when I grab it in, it goes into a tile. So just so it's floating, you can hold shift on the keyboard. See what happens? And I usually just do that. Choose an image. We'll go into downloads. All right. Untitled. Center image. Okay. Okay. So now for if your name was Patrick, we now have Patrugal. All right. Go like this. And that's all they see. So it's really nifty. 
I think I've ever used that word. Um, and let's try another city. All right, there you go. And obviously, um, it's up to your creativity on how far you take this, right? But it's really, really exciting, really useful tool. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my other videos. And if you want to learn more about Tableau, check the description below for a link to my complete course on Udemy. So enjoy.